Hey, 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 Leo, Kaisha here. Thank you so much for joining me on my channel, The Butterfly Effect Tarot. Huge shout out to my day ones, my foundation subscribers, all of my new subscribers. Thank you. You are appreciated. And if you're checking me out for the first time and this reading resonates with you, or I as a reader resonate with you, I encourage you to please share, like, and of course, don't be shy, subscribe. Okay, Leo, general energy check. You know the drill. Not going to resonate with all of you. There's a lot of you. Okay, so take what resonates, discard the rest. Don't try to force it to fit. It will only confuse your ass. Um, I just want to thank all of you for your good karma donations, just for your support of my channel. For those of you who have been keeping me busy with these personal bookings and who hit me up on the live tarot line, your harmonic wave, Thank you, thank you. You are always appreciated. For those of you who have joined the new community, Woke and Woke Mom, thank you, thank you. And for those of you who just continue to rock with me and show support to the channel, I appreciate you. Now, if you cannot or you're not ready to subscribe, don't, don't be shy. Don't be afraid to hit the like button or share. Okay, so this is a continuation of my series. You guys are the last runners up. It's you and Sagittarius I have next. So uh, we're going to look at a cycle that's closed out. This is my 10-10 series. What has closed out or what is begging to be closed out and what is coming towards you or is begging to come towards you. Okay, so Leo, let's see what we have here. Spirit, thank you for your clear and concise messages. I'm here and I understand them. What cycle is closed for Leo or Leo is wrapping up presently? If you are interested in a personal reading for yourself, the link and all that information and more is located in the description box. Help yourself, look around. You may just find what you're looking for. Empress, okay, okay. Ooh. Six of Swords, all right, I'm here for it. Knight of Wands. Hmm. Leo. Let's see what we have here. Spirit, please clarify. Because uh, the surface reading is an empress decided to move towards calmer waters or bring some kind of balance and harmony to her life. This could be you with this Knight of Wands, you dealing with somebody in that energy or you embodying some of those qualities. Yes, okay. Like I said, this is 10 10, eh? Do you see this? This is 10, the Wheel of Fortune. So, Spirit's confirming yes. So, this is a cycle that has closed out, Leo. You decided to move towards calmer waters. Um, just more peace. I feel like peace of mind towards peace of mind when it comes to someone. Mm hmm. Oh, okay. Someone toxic or. Uh, this could be just obsessive thoughts, constantly thinking about someone or someone that you view that's just not, they may not be all that great for you and they're not adding value to your life. It could have been your destiny to meet someone, Leo, but uh, you weren't supposed to move forward with them. You could have been dealing with uh, a Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So please clarify the Six of Swords. Wow, King of Wands is here now. Okay. Okay, so I feel like some of you may have decided to, or you decided to move forward with someone or work with someone or partner with someone or get with somebody. It could have been... Uh, a really fat haste decision, right? Because you ended up feeling foolish about it. Someone could have gotten some bad advice, but I just feel like um, some thought wasn't put into partnering with someone or getting involved with someone. Swear, please clarify Knight of Wands. Four, sorry, Eight of Coins. Hmm. Someone is not thinking about things or
I'm going to clarify some more Leo because what? So what is this eight of coins about? And okay, so this is you. It's like you have found this new found determination or loyalty or passion to put into working towards something. Now this could be healing spirit. Please clarify the hangman in reverse. What's the hangman about? Okay, so I feel like, Leo, you made a decision that you're not going to take any form of disrespect from anybody or uh, mediocre, I wanted to say mediocrity, okay? Any low-level kind of treatments from anybody. And you don't even, that's something that you're not going to compromise. I feel like you learned what one of your um, deal breakers are, Leo. Someone in this collective, you realized in this a cycle that just closed out for you that you're a whole empress. And you don't need to put up with any type of treatment from people. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to please clarify five of cups in reverse. I, somebody may be trying to come back around, Leo. Mm -hmm. But I don't feel like you're interested. I feel like you are... Um, it's like you're healing from stuff that happened and you're not, I feel like you don't want to fight with anyone nor are you fighting for anything with anyone. Some of you have a knight of wands or someone's in that energy. It doesn't have to be, but I feel like you just don't, you don't want something anymore. You want better for yourself. Mm -hmm. Spirit, please clarify the devil. What's the devil about? Mm -hmm. This is you um, being obsessed with building towards yourself and building your own life up. Building some kind of... It's making a decision to get up every day and decide to go after what you want. Mm -hmm. Like to the point where you're obsessed with it. You're obsessed with getting better. You're obsessed with improving. So please clarify the fool in reverse. Oh, Okay. Wow, that is interesting. So I feel like, Leo, you you not moving towards someone made you realize who you were. And it, you were destined to meet this person and go through this situation with them. Remember, everything happens for a reason. You may think that an encounter with someone is insignificant or it's all teaching you something. It's leading to something and it's... It's always leading you back to yourself, Leo. Mm -hmm. Self-discovery. For some of you, I heard self-deception. Mm -hmm. You have good fortune here in this new cycle that's coming towards you, Leo. Because you realize your worth now. I like this energy of... I deserve good things. I'm worthy of good things. I know my worth. I know my value. I know what I bring to the table. And that's what I'm accepting going forward in my life now. And I'm willing to do what I got to do every day of my life to get what I want. Mm -hmm. And some of you, you turn down someone because you thought they were a bad choice. Or they were, it was a bad decision to have anything with them. Mm -hmm. But it was supposed to get you here. This cycle gets you to the next one. I feel like some of you, you learned some things. Maybe it's not the best idea to rush into stuff with people. Mm -hmm. Give people a chance to show you who they are or, or what they're about, you know, what kind of energy they bring to the table. Because I feel like some of you may have... Um, Felt like it was a bad decision to get involved with somebody. But I like that you're over it. <laughs> you're over it. I feel like, Leo, this was a quick lesson. This could have been someone you met, you had a big breakup with someone, and this could have been like a rebound or someone you talked to briefly or 
I, I mean, I was going to say a one night stand, maybe a three night stand with somebody. And it's just, it was a very quick, brief encounter with someone, but it taught you a lot. Mm hmm. Because some of you, your standards don't come for me. Don't come for me. Some of you, your standards weren't as high as you thought they were. Mm -hmm. And somebody, the way how they dealt with you made you, nothing can stop me. I'm all the way up. <laughs> like, someone made you really refine yourself and define yourself for yourself. Leo, every experience teaches you something. Because whoever I'm speaking to, whoever this resonates with, you don't take disrespect from people. If someone's not showing you any type of kindness or some kind of charity or like they actually genuinely care about you, then you're not even bothering and you, you give zero fucks about it, right? Mm -hmm. You don't want any drama. You want to be around people who are... I want to say peaceful, harmonious, and balanced. Yeah. They're not messy. They're not gossiping. They're not trying to cause any problems. Mm-hmm. Okay, okay. So that's a cycle for those of you that resonate. That's the cycle that just closed out for you. Let's see what is coming towards you or what you're already in. Because with this Wheel of Fortune in reverse... You're at the top of the wheel in a cycle that has just begun. That's nice. It's real nice. Spirit, what's coming towards? What's coming towards Leo? What cycle are they in now? Princess of Pentacles in reverse. Four of Swords in reverse. King of Wands. Did you get King of Wands before? Yes. There you are. Loud and proud, Leo. Okay. Spirit, clarify. Clarify Princess of Pentacles. So there was an opportunity that was missed. Do you feel like you missed an opportunity or someone missed an opportunity with you? Oh, look at this. Eight of Cups clarifies Princess of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, someone did miss the opportunity. Knight of Wands, yeah. Someone missed an opportunity with you, Leo. Mm -hmm. I feel like you're learning balance. You're learning how to have patience. Mm -hmm. I feel like in this cycle of your life, you're going to be making some adjustments. Uh, some of you may be meeting someone that could be another fire sign. And they could have gone through a bad breakup as well. So you may be um, having to exercise patience with someone. <laughs> I just heard someone say, as long as they're nice to me. <laughs> Ain't nothing wrong with that. Spirit, please clarify for Swords in Reverse. Four of Swords in Reverse. So, Leo, I just want to tell you this, okay, honeys? Because I got mad love for you. Be aware. This is just learning from experience, and this is wisdom here. Be aware that you are not rushing rushing off to get back into uh, situationships with people because you don't want to give yourself time to heal it's just this perfect king of wands Okay, Leo, you're going to be 
healing from something that happened in this this season okay that you've already entered you're going to be healing from some kind of situation that happened with someone who was a they it's like it ended before it started or it ended as soon as it started now you could have been in your head or be worried uh, i feel like this is just trying to be strong Like, I feel like this is trying not to think about the things that happened in the past and pushing past them anyway. Mm -hmm. Even if you do remember them, you push past them anyway. Because you're learning how to um, let go of drama and obstacles and adversity. You're learning how to deal with them in a higher way, I feel. I feel like someone someone in this collective, this is a season where you heal from things that people have said about you or people have done to you. It's like you could have been feeling hopeless before inside. You're not going to feel like that anymore. Mm -hmm. For some of you in this collective, someone may realize that they judged you too harshly. Mm-hmm. Um, you could have felt alienated or this person, let me see something here. Spirit, what is this, um, what is judgment in reverse about? Be aware, Leo, that someone in this, um, someone's coming towards you. You could have had some kind of dealings with this person before. Uh, they may come around like they want to heal something with you. They could have talked about you or done something to, um, make you look bad or have people come for you or put you in some kind of energy of feeling a lot of anxiety uh, in your head, sleepless nights, uh, anxious. Someone could have caused some kind of misery towards what they said or what they said about you. And you, that's why you are trying to be strong. I feel like you could have flashbacks of these things, of something that happened. Mm -hmm. And you had to walk away from a situation to create balance. Mm -hmm. Someone lied to you or they, they said they were going to do something and they didn't follow through. Mm -hmm. Or you could have realized that in this cycle, you realize that someone really doesn't have anything to offer you. So it would be best to just walk away from them mm -hmm. and focus on your own creating balance for yourself. And this is going to take you to be patient, right? Because real change takes time, Leo. I feel like you're in an energy now where you want to be with someone that you're compatible with. It's not just uh, physical. It's... It's emotional, it's mental, it's spiritual. Someone, I feel like some of you may have realized that you may have judged a situation or judged someone harshly, uh, but this is just coming from just maturing. You know, this is um, things that you used to do before. You could be thinking about how you used to live as you make these changes into this new cycle of your life and realize that that's not even you anymore. You don't even think like that. You don't want to do things that way anymore. And this is healing. I feel like this is healing of the mind as well. Some of you, you felt trapped, trapped in your mind, or there's some kind of paranoia about something. You're healing from that though. So that's good. For, and anything else? Where are you? Okay. Anything else for Leo and what's coming towards them? Oh. Leo, I did a deck. This is my 5D deck. Did I show you this before? So um, I had these channeled a while back and Spirit said to do them now. And I said, okay. <laughs> so here it is. These are channel messages from 5D. Spirit, is there anything else you'd like Leo to know about this new cycle? 
this new chapter, this new start. I feel like Leo's, a lot of you as well, are going to start to feel like you can come out of this idea that it's a lack mentality or that you can't have something or something is, is not meant for you. Scarcity mindset. I feel like you're going to start coming out of that. And this is, I feel like you judged yourself harshly. Mm -hmm. And you're healing from that. Because this is mental. Right? In your head, worried about what people are going to say or how they think or how they feel. And it's just like driving yourself crazy over stuff you don't really have any control over, Leo. I feel like you realize that that's maturity. Like, you know what? I can only focus on myself and people's opinion about me is really none of my business, right? It's uh, I'm focusing on my own life. That's maturity. Not everybody's going to like you. That's okay. Keep it moving. Okay, Spirit, what, what messages do you have for the beautiful Leo Collective? Remember, you are divine. You are limitless. Mm-hmm, okay? Very nice. So this is a reminder, okay, from Spirit that you are capable of achieving anything that you want because some of you, like I said, you're, this is confirmation here. <laughs> some of you were trapped in your head thinking that you couldn't be something, do something, have something, create something, get over something or someone. And Spirit's like, you absolutely can. You just need to decide. You're healing from that. Thinking that something wasn't possible for you, but it is. Anything is. Spirit, any more messages? Because you're divine, Leo, okay? You are a spark of the divine. Mm. Can we just talk? Someone wants to talk to you, Leo. Mm -hmm. Someone wants to talk to you. As I said, I felt like someone was going to come and try to come towards you because they realized they could have judged you harshly and they want to heal something with you. But I feel like you are walking away from this person because... You may think that they're drama. <laughs> you don't want that in your life. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you're being strong because... Or you're going to be strong. <laughs> because you don't want any problems with this person. Whoever this is, this person could have made you feel sick. Mm -hmm. Something that they did made you feel sick. Or felt like something was just a disaster. Or... Ugh. Something just made, gave you, left a really bad taste in your mouth with the way how someone did something. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Leo. And you were just like, okay. <laughs> I need to just move away from this one. Mm -hmm. I feel like someone did something that had you in your head for a while and you're healing from that, right? Peace of mind is so important. But this person wants to talk. I don't know if you're going to hear them out. But they're just saying, like, I mean, their energy is trying to come take over the reading here. Wow. <laughs> the vibration is not a match. Like I said, I don't think that you are going to be dealing with this person with this um, eight of cups because you think that they're drama. Mm -hmm. And spirit is letting you know that they fucking are. Okay. You and this person, you're not a match vibrationally you're not a match and remember the beginning of the reading of your new cycle was you're looking to be around people like you're not interested in anyone who's not coming as a vibrational match whose frequency doesn't match yours in terms of i'm not putting up with any disrespect if you want to talk to me you got to be kind you got to be generous you got to be supportive like those are the type of people that i want around me now not you motherfuckers who like drama and are messy and like to draw people into third party problems no not into any of that and whoever is trying to come towards you, that's what they're on. And Spirit is saying, this person does not match what you want for your life now in this cycle of your life. Leo, do you hear me? Spirit is speaking to you. 
So for some of you, I feel like this is this is if you're this resonates with you. This is a heads up from spirit on what is coming towards you in this chapter. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but spirit said it's gonna be it's a, a repetitive cycle. But you're not in this because you see the wheel of fortune. You're not in this karma anymore. So this is this is a person's cycle that they're still stuck in that they're trying to bring you back into and do this thing all over again because your vibration is higher and you want higher things you're creating um, a world around you from with from within what you want so it's not going to match if someone wants to be in your world they have to match your frequency and you know that leo so that's why you're not even bothering with this person and this is confirmation from spirit. You're doing the right thing. Spirit, can I get one more? But they want to talk. If you build it, they will come. Okay, Leo, I like that. So some of you, I feel like you could be working on something and that makes sense, being obsessed with this being better, building up your life, doing what you got to do for yourself here. Yes, Spirit is letting you know, keep it go, keep it coming. Okay, this is that Empress energy. A lot of you in this collective who resonates with this, you are building some kind of legacy. I'm hearing um, generational wealth, worth, Spirit said, keep building it. Someone, you're building some kind of platform or website or, or something. I'm hearing blockchain for someone. Mm -hmm. And Ethereum. Okay, don't quote me here. I don't know nothing about nothing on Bitcoin. This is just what I'm hearing. But Spirit wants you to know to continue to keep moving forward. Keep building what you are building because uh, Spirit's about to fill that shit up, okay? You just do your part and let Spirit take care of the rest. So if you build it, you continue to work on what you're working on, it is going to manifest, it is going to materialize and come to fruition. They will come, okay? So build it. All right, Leo, this is what I have for you. If any of this resonates, smash that like button. If not, that's cool. Another time. With that being said, you have yourself a fantastic morning, noon, or night, and I will catch your beautiful energy on the flip side. Bye.